I just wanted to ask you your experiences with body work and how you know how strong someone has to be to work on someone like you. I, I do some body work myself, mm -hmm. and I've I've never even imagined you know trying to trying to put pressure into someone your size. Okay. All right. In Vegas, this Brazilian girl, who I swear to Christ had Terminator bones, that metal Terminator bones <laughs> in her elbows and her knuckles and her hands. I wanted to tap out like a bitch. She was doing her elbows through my hamstrings. That's bizarre, bizarre. I wanted to, oh God, I was in so much pain. And she knew. She knew she barely spoke English, but she knew I'm going to try and rock this dude's world. And, you know, it didn't matter. I, I, I went through it all. I sat in my car, okay? And I was like, why is my rear view mirror messed up? What's going on? I had gotten taller because she had broken up so much tissue in my back. I came in and I said to my girlfriend, are you in my car? She goes, no. I'm like, oh, my God. She had ripped up so much <laughs> muscle, so much scar tissue, so much stuff, that I would actually... Gained like maybe a, like a quarter inch or half inch height. Like, whoa. Was she just beastly or? She was tiny. <laughs> she was little, itty bitty Brazilian girl, but her bones <laughs> were hard as the devil's heart. It was horrible. It was like, you know, I mean, she put that on me, her knuckles even. How do you get your knuckles to be that hard? She had to be like a cyborg from the future or something. It was just sick. It hurt so bad. And, like, I knew I'm, like, I'm biting my freaking lips off and my, everything. I'm, like, trying to hurt myself and squeeze in there and trying not to let it show that she's kicking the shit out of me. And she is kicking the shit out of me. I mean, taking her elbows through my calves. And, I mean, just ripping me to pieces, really just beating my ass off. And uh, I'm just getting rocked here. Every, every possible position is happening. There's, there's no victory here. I'm just trying to survive. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that is the one. Of all the people that have tried to do that to me, of all the people that have tried to be badasses and put their feet on walls and try and dig into here and dig into that and try and cut me open with, you know, sheer force, you know, she takes the cake, and it's only because of the density of her friggin' evil bones. <laughs> That's all it is. She's got these evil, super dense bones, and they, oh, God. And I was sore on top of it, okay? So now I'm sore and tender on top, and she's just raking through me like it's all good. And, I mean, ugh, that was, that was the worst I've ever experienced. And, uh, but she's the only person, really, I came back. <laughs> I came back after that. You know, I, I got another massage, not quite as intense, because we kind of made peace with each other. She had like our first round fight that went the distance. You know, I'm pretty sure she now got the decision. there's mutual respect. There's mutual respect between her and I. You know, then I, I, she got the decision, of course. You know, she got the belt. She wore it in there. And everything <laughs> laughed at me and said, so, you need for another massage, you bitch boy? And I'm like, yeah, I guess I could use another one. And uh, so that's what she did. You know, she gave me another, and it was really good, but it wasn't quite as brutal. Mm -hmm. Do you find those people standing up or whatever, for the most part, do they actually do some effect on you? Or, like, for the most part, is like most therapists don't even stand a chance. It's just like, this is a waste of my time. I mean, it, it, look, I, I, I enjoy, you know, deep.